TexasFootball.com here with Kyler Jordan, one of the top uh, recruits in the entire state of Texas, one of the top defensive players in the state of Texas. Kyler, you've made your commitment to Baylor. What was it about that Baylor program that jumped out to you and made you feel comfortable in pulling the trigger there? Yes, sir. A lot was the relationships. Um, Coach McGuire and Coach Aranda have really built a great relationship with me as long uh, as well as the entire staff. I got a text from pretty much every single one of them at one point or another and really just feel, feeling the love and feeling the want for me to get down there. And um, it's just felt like home, felt like I'm, that's where I'm being called to make my, my next impact. You were recruited heavily by Joey McGuire. You know, the guy who we know well at Dave Campbell Texas football before he moved on to Baylor, he was one of the top uh, high school football coaches in the Dallas area in the entire state of Texas. And, and of course, is a Texas high school football coaching legend. Uh, what do you know about Coach McGuire and what, how did he help Baylor's efforts when it comes to landing Kyler Jordan? Uh, yes, sir. He, he knew a lot. He just knew a lot about the Texas high school football. He knew how big it was. He knew, he knew how big it is to the people that play it and the people that are around it, around it all the time. And uh, really just being personable and being easy to talk to, being, making himself free to talk to me whenever I was available. Cause I mean, I know he's on a tight schedule just like I am. So really just meant a lot for him to spend as much time as he did talking to me and talking to my family and making me feel comfortable. Dave Aranda, he's a defensive minded coach. Um, I know that they probably, you can probably do a lot of different things on that gridiron. Um, you might even be able to flip over and play some offense as well. Uh, but Dave Aranda is a defensive minded coach. Uh, you put up monster defensive numbers. Um, did that help the decision-making process or sway you in any way to have a head coach who has that type of mentality? Yes, sir. I think it added a little bit to my, to my decision, just being, being defensive minded, of course, playing defense. Uh, but uh, just, just the fact that he's seen people like me and he's done great things with people that are built like I am and, and just makes me really excited to see what he can do with me. So I know that, you know, football is your love, man. It's the sport that you are going to play college. Um, but baseball is another sport that you, you really like. Um, and I expect that you're probably going to play baseball into your senior season. Um, so you're probably not going to be an early enrollee. Um, just kind of talk about baseball, why you like it, and how you, you feel like that could help prepare you, keep you ready, um, you know, to play football as well. Yes, sir. It's it's great to have something to kind of take your mind off of football because otherwise you're just antsy all the time and there's nothing else to really like complete compete against other teams for. And um, I I just love I love how relaxed it is. I love the guys that I'm playing with. I love the coaches. I just I love all of it. I love spending that much time with guys other than my football teammates. I, it's just it's really awesome. It's really awesome with the kind of program that we have going on at Cooper right now. You got any heroes on the gridiron or on the diamond that you look up to or kind of pattern yourself after it all? Who are some of those guys that you really like? J.J. Watt and T.J. Watt. Those are those are my two, really the two guys that I really strive to be like one day. Um, I, hope, I mean, I'm not going to be as big as J.J., but hope that I can at least have that impact on my community. Not bad picks right there. As a matter of fact, watching your junior tape, I think that you'd be honored to to let me say that you played a little bit like T.J. Watt last season chasing that football around, man. I mean, is that kind of flattering to hear? Yes, sir. For sure. For sure. T.J. Watt's numbers were absolutely insane. So, means a lot. I want to transition a little bit here to Lubbock Cooper. Um, you guys had a big season last year. Um, you're going to be a team leader. This is your senior season coming up. Um, just kind of talk about, you know, just in general, um, what do you guys have coming back and, and how excited are you now that you, you do have a younger team, a little bit younger team coming back that you're going to be the guy that's the leader, you know, you're going to be the guy that they look to. And, and of course you have a talented teammate there to play alongside you too. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I'm really excited because this is really the time that I get to build my team and to build the team that our senior class is going to make our impact, not only in this, in the football aspect, but the life aspect as well. Um, we all know these football relationships don't last a few weeks. I mean, these are relationships that we'll have for the rest of our lives. And uh, 
I, I really just hope that I can push it, push them enough to where they realize how bad that I want it and how bad that the rest of my class wants it. And I, I'm really excited to see what we can do. You've been lined up next to a guy named Kobe McKenzie, um, probably one of the most deadly or lethal uh, duo of linebackers and defensive players in the state. You're going to Baylor. He's planning on going to OU. Has the trash talk started? <laughs> it, it started a little bit, but he's he's really happy for me, and I'm really happy for him. Uh, I think both of them are great fits for us individually, and me, me and Kobe have played together for this. This will be our fifth year in a row, and uh, it's just it's crazy. It, it's crazy to think that this is last year I'll get to play with him. I bet you guys are looking forward to trading those jerseys one day. Oh and, yeah, but I hope. But I hope you I, – I bet you hope that the scoreboard reads in a positive favor of Baylor whenever that happens. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, how, do you, how does Baylor really see you fitting into their schemes? You're a guy that's done so much on the, on the you know, the gridiron, um, played a lot of different positions. Um, how do they really see you fitting in there, and what do you feel like you can uh, bring to the table? Uh, they see me uh, – they see me starting out at outside, outside linebacker, uh, standing up a little bit rushing. Rush on the passer. Uh, they see me maybe playing some H back as well, H back to get in there and block. Um, and they see me putting my hand in the dirt, maybe a little bit, putting some weight on me. Uh, and they maybe playing some middle too. They're not hundred percent sure yet, but they see me starting out outside and then going from there. So uh, I know that you've done a lot of uh, different things, got some hobbies and stuff, but are you going to be able to find the efficient hole when you get down to Waco is the big question. And if so, um, kind of tell the fans down there at Baylor who may be watching this, maybe do you have a record catch or have any trophies hanging on the wall? Ah, oh, shoot, I wish. I, I don't really get that many chances to go fishing, but if if I did, I would. Uh, I I go trout fishing a lot. And honestly, the biggest trout that I caught, I lost it once it got to my feet. But uh, that's a story for another time. Um, I've gone bass fishing a lot. Uh, I've caught a gar before uh, down in, up in Missouri. Um, we went deep sea fishing uh, last last summer. Yeah, and I caught a caught a pretty good red snapper. Um, Wish I would have caught like a grouper or something, but but it was pretty cool. And I don't know, I just love I love the peace, the peace of fishing. It's very relaxing. That's TexasFootball.com with Kyler Jordan, Baylor commit, a man who needs a fishing net, sounds like to me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or one that's a little more accessible. Thanks for the time, man. Congratulations on your commitment to Baylor. Of course, good luck with the rest of your baseball season and good luck with the upcoming football season as well. No problem. Thank you.